the second the Takrade Metropolitan Assembly has closed down an illegal water production company at Tankerfall, a community within the second Takrade Metropolis, for operating illegally and under insanitary conditions. The, this was revealed when the Joy News and second Takrade Metropolitan Assembly's operation cleaners around this campaign team visited the company. Listen to Abdul Karim Hudu, environmental officer of the second Takrade Metropolis Metro, Metropolitan Assembly cautioning the public to be careful of the water they buy and drink. As um, we started, the operation clean or your surroundings, we've come to a schedule submetro. Our first point of call is at a water producing center. Yes, when we came here, or as we are standing here, they don't have, there are three workers there, they don't have medical screening uh, certificates and they produce the water. They don't have food and drugs authority certificate. They don't have suitability reports from environmental. And the last one is that they don't have a refuse container to, to put their refuse inside and then uh, join the door-to-door -door services. That is why we have closed the water treatment center. So unless it comes to pay the fine, before we come and close it. He will put everything in order before we can we can open it for him. So that's the reason why we, we've closed it. Um, general public, we have to be cautious of people who produce water. Yes, um, even this one, when you go inside, when you buy a sachet water, look at the label, whether Food and Drugs Authority number is on it, because we do join uh, instruction. They have to consult us, make sure that the medical screening is done to the office, uh, those who are producing it before they also issue their certificate. And they know, but I'm sure they are not aware of this, like they also close it down. So the public should be aware of uh, uh, the illegal operation uh, water, such as water producers. This one is illegal operation. Uh, producing the water. In in the second place, BOP, I don't think they pay. They don't pay. And they are not registered with assembly. So there are nuisances or their problems are many. That's why we close it. We've been joined uh, via Zoom by Mr. John Last, who is a PR for the STMA. With more on this, grateful to you, John, for joining us. How long did this water company operate before being shut down on Friday? Investigation. Um, it has been established that mm. the um, facility recently started operating within the community, okay. and um, we, we are very certain that um, they've been operating. Um, not more than six months, um, so that may, may, may also, uh, you know, mm -hmm. inform the reason why we've not been able to, you know, identify the operation. So um, they, they recently started op operation within the uh, community. Mm -hmm. But, but wh why did the assembly allow the company to operate for that long? Because, as I said, I mean, um, they re they just started operating, and um, you know, but but but. It's, it's, but, but it, it, it's been six months. That, that's, that's a long time for people to be drinking water that has not been licensed to be produced for them. Yeah, Kojo, uh, like, like we keep saying, uh, for, for our work, um, it is um, shared responsibility. So the public also has responsibility to draw our attention. Okay. Uh, indeed, we do have staff who go around to monitor and make sure that all these companies have been certified and they operate within the standard uh, approved standard um, operations. But then, in this case, um, we did not have a team, so the team moved in. So yes, um, it has been almost um, almost a month, but um, like you keep saying, better late than never. Okay. Of course, we still urge the public to also help us by making sure that they give us information on time for us to um, take uh, the necessary actions on some of these illegal mm. operations. So what happened now that the company has been shut down? Yes, so what, the, what we said to them was to make sure that by Monday, they report to our sub-metro office. Mm. Uh, we will take them through the processes to make sure that um, they regularize their operation 
um, our officers will go to the site, give them all the requirements they are to follow before uh, we, we allow them to resume operation. Okay. Um, like my colleague, the environmental health officer indicated, there are other agencies that are supposed to authorize them uh, before operating. We'll make sure that they go through all the processes uh, before um, they will allow to resume operation. Okay. Now, now this is this operation, clean your surroundings campaign. What's the next phase of of, of that? Yes, could you, um, we we keep moving from community to community, uh, unannounced. It's so uh, yes. we'll be moving to another community somewhere next week. But um, we, we I cannot announce the day because we always want to uh, visit the community unannounced to make sure that at least uh, we can get those who are not respecting the. Um, sanitation, um, you know, good sanitation practices. So, yes, the uh, operation is ongoing. Uh, we continue to make sure that the people uh, appreciate the need to keep their surroundings clean, uh, make sure that they follow the um, approved standard and procedures for um, doing business within the metropolis. Okay. All right. Grateful to you, John, for joining us. And that's uh, as part of the Joy News STMA Clean Your Surroundings campaign there.